friends in this video we are going to learn how to check bridge rectifier with multimeter in this video we will check this type of rectifier and also we will check this type of bridge rectifier after watching this video you will be able to check this rectifier with multimeter and you can identify rectifier is good or defective so let's start video and before checking rectifier first we identify concepts of diode you can see we have one diode in this diode we have two terminal and this diode model is 4007s and in this rectifier we use 5408 model diode okay in diode we have two terminal and in this diode you can see in front side gray color coating so gray coating terminal is known as cathode and other terminal is anode okay anode is known as positive and cathode is known as negative okay it's a basic concept so for checking of this diode we use multimeter okay first we set multimeter in diode range okay power on in this multimeter we have two probe red probe is positive and black probe is negative okay so first put plus probe on diode anode and minus probe on cathode in this checking we have some diode values and when we change polarity then no value should show because diode conduct in only one direction okay it's a basic concept of checking of diode same concept apply on checking of rectifier okay you can see in this rectifier we have total four diodes. first we learn how to make rectifier with diode so first we connected two diode okay both diode a node and a node terminal is loop okay a node and a node terminal loop we make rectify like this drawing okay now first diode cathode terminal connect to the second diode a node terminal okay just loop now one more diode is required so second diode you can see here in downside cathode is connect to the a node and at last both cathode is connected like this drawing okay so just we make this rectify like this drawing okay now we learn where we need to connect ac supply and where we get dc supply okay so in this diode cathode is here and other diode is a node okay when one cathode and one a node is connected then ac supply is connected here okay in downside you can see cathode connect here and second diode a node here so one cathode one a node that means here we need to connect ac supply okay in this diode you can see both a node is connect both a node is connect so we will get negative dc and here both cathode is connected here okay cathode so when we connect both cathode so we get plus of dc supply okay it's a basic concepts of connecting ac supply and getting dc supply okay now for checking this rectifier first we connect to four diode like this drawing okay and same concept apply on this diode this diode for 25 ampere okay 25 ampere rating here and ac terminal given here and ac here so ac and ac okay so both blue wire is terminal is used for ac supply input power supply red wire is for plus supply dc and black wire for negative supply of dc okay now for checking this rectifier first we need to arrange this rectifier like this drawing in this drawing you can see ac and plus given here in this drawing so first we connect this rectifier like this drawing plus set here and ac supply connects in other terminal so rectifier like this first we put so for checking of this rectifier first we need to check diode of this rectifier we say first we place rectifier like this drawing first we check first diode okay at diode negative we connect to multimeter negative probe and at a node we connect to positive probe first diode is checking reading is showing and when we change polarity no reading is showing that means this diode is okay now in this rectifier it plus of the terminal we connect a multimeter negative probe okay because cathode is here and at opposite terminal we connect positive probe so we get reading that means this diode is okay when we change polarity no reading is showing that means this diode is okay now we check second diode okay in this second diode cathode is connected in upper side and anode is connected in negative side okay so negative probe connect on first terminal and positive probe connect in the 
a no terminal so we get reading that means this diode is okay when we change polarity no reading is showing that means this diode is okay same concept on this bridge rectifier okay at ac terminal at ac terminal you can see at ac terminal diode negative probe is connected because cathode is here and anode is here so we get reading that means this diode is okay when we change polarity no reading should show just place rectifier like this drawing okay no reading is showing that means this diode is okay now we check third diode okay you can see on this we connect positive probe and negative probe in a node this diode is okay when we change polarity no reading is showing same concept on this bridge rectifier okay first thing you can see this is ac terminal this terminal and this is negative terminal between this ac and negative we already checked diode now we need to check this diode so you can see at negative we connect positive probe and in this terminal negative probe reading is showing when we change to change probe no reading is showing that means this diode is okay now we check last of the diode this terminal you can see anode is downside and cathode is upper side so multimeter plus connect on downside and cathode on upside reading is showing when we change polarity no reading should show okay this diode is okay now we check this rectifier last diode okay on plus terminal okay on plus terminal diode negative terminal is connected okay so first we connect a multimeter negative probe on plus of this diode and other terminal is positive so reading is showing that means this diode is okay when we change polarity no reading should show okay no reading is showing that means this rectifier is okay this rectifier all four diode is okay okay now if you remember this drawing you can check any of the rectifier okay now for just a basic concept if you check this diode and if multimeter reading showing 0.02 or beep sound is coming so you can say that your diode is short okay in this condition your rectifier will not work i hope you clear the concept how to check bridge rectifier with multimeter if you remember this drawing you can check any of the rectifier friends if you like this video please press like button if you have any query please ask in comments box for today's enough we'll meet in next video thanks for watching